How you doing folks? I'm here today with the Utilitec 9AA LED flashlight. Um, I don't really do gear reviews unless I find something that I can really stand behind that it really impresses me that stands out above the rest and this does. Um, it's labeled at 1000 lumens. Um, I have a TK35 that I shine next to this and uh, both of them had full batteries and this is brighter. This definitely does throw further. Um, it has a 360 meter range on it, so that's three football fields, more than three football fields. It'll run for three hours on the high setting. It comes with nine AA batteries um, made by Utilitec, they're alkalines. Um, I got everything from Lowe's. It was supposed to be $40, but they had it on clearance for $20. For $20 in my mind, and I think it's not just my opinion, but I'm pretty sure that $20 cannot get you a light of better quality than this and better performance for the same price point. Um, it's all aircraft anodized aluminum. It's got Neuralee on here for uh, added grip. My one complaint, if I have one about it, is that it's a little bit slippery. It could be grippier. grippier. They could have made these more aggressive, but uh, it is what it is. The button on here is really nice. Um, it has high meet low and then flash it's not a strobe it's not an SOS it's just basically a flashing beacon to kind of you know if you want your position to be known uh, if you want to draw attention to yourself say you have a roadside accident um, it's super bright it really does in my mind have a thousand lumens this is uh, um, my battery that I'm playing with this thing trying to kill it for two weeks now and uh, it's strong I haven't tried to pound nails with it which I'm sure it's capable of. I do that sometimes to torture test my lights. Um, it says that it is FL1 standard. I don't really know exactly what FL1 standard means and I'm a flashlight guy. Um, I'm not sure. Um, I'm guessing that it has something to do with water resistance. I, when I looked it up, it said that it had to do with measuring um, output on the flashlights. I don't know. It, I read a little bit of it and I got confused so I stopped reading it. Um, I don't know. But inside here is a, a battery case that holds nine AA batteries in there. It's screwed together on the ends and it, it's marked positive and negative. It's a really high quality case. I can't find any piece on this flashlight that's not high quality. Um, it has a very deep, uh, deep reflect, reflector. It has uh, Cree LEDs in there. Um, it throws really far. It's really bright. Um, it's less weight than a mag light. Um, obviously way brighter than a mag light. But it has anti-roll technology somewhat. The knuckles aren't super huge to stop it from rolling. But uh, it does stop rolling. It does kind of sit there. It won't roll out down a hill on a, on a slight incline. If you set it down, it will change the tire. <coughs> the front here, as you can see, it has this uh, bezel. They call it a defensive bezel. Um, it has one there. The paint on here is nice. Um, it doesn't really show fingerprints too well. But I'm a huge fan of this. As soon as I seen that it took nine AA batteries I and had a thousand lumens, I was in love with it um, before even testing it. Just because um, nine AA batteries, AA batteries are obviously the world's most common battery, the easiest to get your hands on in a pinch. Say your batteries die on you, you can get batteries from a remote control, um, you know, lots of different places inside of your house. Um, alarm clocks take them, clock on the walls take them. Um, there's just a lot of different places to find double A. So whenever I can get a flashlight or any kind of equipment, I always try to go for double A's if possible. If it's not a rechargeable lithium, I want uh, double A's. Um, but uh, I'm very impressed with this flashlight. It's not too heavy. I don't have a scale. Yeah, I don't have a scale here with me. But uh, I would say it's about a pound and a half, if that, less than a pound and a half. And it sits nice in your hand. Um, just an overall great, great quality light. Um, for the price, I don't think you can beat it for 20 bucks. You're not going to get a brighter, higher quality flashlight for 20 bucks. I looked through the. the the manufacturing um, points on here, um, the details, and everything's on point. Um, the threads are good quality. They're they're deep. They grab good. They're clean. They're they're cut good. Um, there's no workman's defects on here. Uh, it's just a perfect flashlight. 
Um, it has O-rings built in right here. Um, I'm guessing it doesn't have a waterproof standard on there, but for, with my flashlight experience, it looks like it's at least IPX7 standard, so it can it can go underwater. I don't know if it's IPX8. I don't know if it would go underwater for two for a meter for 30 minutes. I'm not sure, um, but I'm pretty sure that it would. Um, yeah, thanks for watching.